Uh, hello everyone, Analytics Sage. Today is 15th of uh, January 2021, Friday. Actually, it's going to be Saturday in 45 minutes. Time is 23.16. Markets are closed and I'm giving you an update on Palladium. This won't be an hourly one because I think we are entering a new trend channel. So this will be mainly a weekly chart and monthly chart that I'm going to do. I'm recording this on a wider frame because there are lots of things I need to show so I choose the bigger screen so please watch this in high quality couple of issues I had I spent like I would say more than an hour or two today just on this part just on this part you see here the monthly chart looks very simple but to be honest it was very complicated and I'm still not sure about the wave count so we have one two three four five there was no way i can count it as impulsive or consider this as a for example this part as a wave three the only way i can count this for now is just we have one two one two one two and the reason is the drop we have here that has touched the top of this wave and other stuff so I still put a question mark here and I don't know what's gonna happen but for now I'm considering a series of one twos that's the only way to justify this and let me go to the weekly chart okay on a weekly chart you can see this wave I could count it quite like perfectly everything makes sense when you do your wave count couple of things it's not about naming wave count should uh, make sense uh, trend channel wise rsi wise uh, fibo wise everything should make sense so you can come up with a solid count that you can easily base your prediction based on that so if i consider that we are on a correction for this impulsive wave because this is one of the assumptions so we had this and this correction belongs to that impulse okay there are couple of things we can assume we can assume that the correction is over that i don't think and we are having a one two are going up or we are can assume that the correction is not over w x y both models suggest that we should see some sort of drop this is a good thing i'm going for the w x y w x y version this is what i want the wave x is perfectly made up of a, a b probably an ending diagonal roughly like but it's not very important actually i didn't go through this to count this very precisely what i want to see i'm waiting to see that this trend channel to get broken so as soon as we see a broken trend channel for example something like this let me just copy these candles here something like this come back probably a little bit retest i will be the seller for sure so uh, this is the elliot wave wise and everything here we are having a very very strong fibo cluster here at this resistance level so it will be very hard for the market to break this and go up also if i switch on the volumes we are seeing a very actually these are the things i usually like big volumes but no price movement and as you can see we have a very big volume the this volume for example here you see a big candle but for this sell volume nothing has happened so it shows a very big uncertainty and in my opinion the market is waiting to see what will happen in this box and based on what we will do here it will make a decision and now let me turn on my moving averages so these are the daily moving averages this is the weekly chart but these are daily so 50 day moving average as you can see this is a daily day daily moving average not a weekly one and we had that doji with a big volume just on a 50 day moving average so the market is gonna decide if it's gonna break the moving average or not so what i want to see i want to see the market to break the 50 day moving average okay probably it will come to to the 200 and probably we will see a bounce back maybe near the trend channel and then i'll be the seller i'm not gonna sell this market let me go to the daily chart 
I'm not gonna sell this market until I see a clear break of the 50 day moving average I'm not uh, basing my this video actually only on the uh, Elliott wave because this structure there is still lots of this is I'm not 100% sure about this structure but FIBO wise and everything uh, makes sense with the moving averages as well so the first break on the 50 day moving average will make sense and also time wise I'm expecting to have a slow going wave C not a very sharp one like wave A because of the rule of alteration so we had a sharp wave A B and a slow wave C that should roughly bring you down all the way to this level probably 1424 and should finish somewhere around October or September this is what I'm expecting so slow going wave C I'm not expecting any fast drop uh, thanks for watching and have a good night